two how to use guides here we are um using how to use lipart now lipart's an interesting pokemon it has 106 base speed and um 88 uh physical attack and 88 physical defense actually no special attack sorry now with the 106 on the speed you're going to be getting um you're going to be getting out speeds on most of your opponent's pokemon or at least a good majority of non-sweeper Pokemon, you'll, you'll easily outspeed. And with the 252 investment, you can outspeed... I think you can outspeed Dragonite. But it doesn't matter, it, because you've also got the Prankster ability. Now, the Prankster ability gives 1 plus priority to all non-damaging moves. So Torn gets 1 plus priority. Fake Out gets 1 plus priority. Actually, no, Fake Out doesn't. So that does knock off. But Spike gets 1 plus priority. Spike is just a bad version of Grudge, which um, only some Pokemon can get. Uh, you give it a Lumberry to stop it being paralysed by Pokemon like Klefki, and you just knock off and fake out from there. You just you get rid of the PP on Pokemon like um, Typhlosion's Eruption, or just generally low PP moves, and you dish out a hard-hitting knock knockoff. Now to set one for Lipard. Set two, you'll excuse me a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so for set two for Lipard, you're gonna be wanting to do more of a tanky set with your citrus berry, you you still want prankster. You wanna go Encore Fake Out, Taunt and Knock Off, which is very similar to the set um, you did before, with the small exception that you're running a Citrus Berry and you've got Encore, and you're putting more into speed investment. But yeah, uh, that's set 2, nothing huge to say about it. Lipard's shiny actually looks worse than Lipard itself, so you know. And then we've got the... Um, We've also got the set 3 Lipard, so what you want is you want to put as much into actual attack as you want as you can. Um, you don't actually, you actually want that on physical defense rather than special defense. And so there are lots more um, physical Pokemon now than you'd suspect, as we've got a very physical meta. And then you carry a dark gem with Unburden. So, Unburdened, speed is doubled on Held Ice and Loss, boost, Boosted Loss, if switches, uh, or if it gets a new item ability, but you can read, hopefully. Anyway, you've got your Dark Gem, so your first successful Dark type attack is going to have uh, the power of a Life Orb without the, um, without the health drop. Because you've only got 64 base health, which is, well, if I might say so myself, terrible. Now the reason I haven't done any special attack sets is because your special attack is just as good, but if you have a look, you've got Dark Pulse, you've got Grass Knot, you've got Hyper Voice, you've got Shadow Wall, there you go, that's a set, but there's not really much you can do with those moves, not much at all. But so, Physical Lipard is the way you want to go really. Um, you can run special Lipard with the moves I just specified, but I would um, greatly recommend physical Lipard over special Lipard. So you run Iron Tail, since you've got your tail and Pikachu's always using it in the animes. Um, or, if you're, if you're expecting them to go for a setup, um, if you could U-turn, if it's not a favourable thing for you, you can Gunk Shot. You can Iron Tail, or if you know they're going to be um, full on attack in your first turn, you can proc your Dark Gem, Sucker Punch, and then go into a sped up Gunk Shock or Iron Tail, U-Turn um, will just get you out of a sticky situation, I suppose. And then you've got your very easy escape button, you've got your Glide Score. So Glide Score, Top Score, Poison Heal, this bit doesn't matter whatsoever, it's just on there because... I have to be perfect when I do these things. You do agility, you do defog to get rid of the hazards on the field. Um, then you give it home claws to increase its attack and accuracy by one. That accuracy so you can compensate for iron tail and gunk shot relatively low accuracies. 
Sucker Punch has got a high accuracy, as does U-Turn, so that doesn't matter. And then you use Agility to increase your speed, so, and then you switch that into a full Choice Banded. You switch that into a full Choice Band, sorry, spelled that wrong. That was my backspace key. So you switch that into a full Limber. Yeah, you do want Limber. Choice Band. If you even need that, you could purely go for the Assault Vest, even. Which would be good for um, special attacking fairies, which you're going to see a lot. And then you go into Gunk Shot. You go into the you basically go into the moves on this set just without the dark gem, and you go for the assault vest with limber instead. Then you go sucker punch. Oops, he's now I kind of ruined that one. But yeah, then you just go for attacking moves which get boosts from limber. So yeah, that's basically all you can do with uh, Lipard. It's well. To be honest, it's kind of a failed version of um, Sableye. With it's a Sableye. It's got the Prankster ability and it's got the mediocre attack, um, but it doesn't. It just doesn't have the crisp typing to be able to completely exploit the Prankster ability. I mean, you've got um, Clef Key, Prankster, Fairy. Steel that's got, to my knowledge, a fire weakness, and I do believe that it that's it. Don't um quote me on that. And then Sableye, I know, has only got the pra um fairy luck, fairy weakness. It has prankster and it has a mega revolution. Mega revolution is quite good. I personally use it as my mega, but you can use it as any anything you want really. That's all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Um. See you next time for another how to use guide. Bye bye.